Hey guys, this is Anam from Delicious and DIY, and today we will be transforming a very basic, boring, bland room into the stunning boho chic transformation. As you can see, the room is pretty basic, no color, no design, the walls are pretty bare as well, but that is all going to change pretty soon. The first project I tackled was making my own headboard. So this headboard is pretty easy and pretty cheap as well because I used the IKEA Ivar cabinet. It already had the wood cut out into the perfect headboard size that I needed it to be. So I used this fabric. Basically, this was a floor cushion, a throw pillow, um, and I wasn't using it anymore and i really liked the design and it had really fun colors with like a muted background and i decided to use this as my headboard fabric ikea hack is pretty easy you just measure out the size of the squares and then using your staple gun just staple the fabric all around um this took me about 15 minutes from start to finish very easy and very simple as well because the wood's cut out and if you don't really use power tools or anything um, this is a really good solution because it's already pre-made and everything's done for you you just have to attach your fabric um, I've also seen people using like rattan or some sort of caning material that looks pretty good as well and it's really in style these days um, I chose to use a fabric because I just preferred it that way. So yeah, um, I just completely used the floor cushion fabric in all three of the sections of the headboard. So for hanging this headboard onto the wall, I use these mounting hooks. You attach the hooks onto the headboard side as well as you attach it onto the wall. Drill holes, attach the hooks. And then afterwards you simply, it's like an interlocking mechanism. So you basically just um, lock the hooks together and it's secured pretty firmly on the wall. It's very sturdy. This is how it looked onto the wall. Um, it looks slanted because my camera was set up slanted, but it's pretty straight, trust me. On to the next project, which was creating those stunning painted arch walls. Personally, I like to change up my design a million times. And I wanted a solution where I didn't actually have to paint the walls. Um, so I went with this option. I used Ramboard. You can find this at Home Depot. It's basically this, um, it's used for flooring. It's like a cardboard material, but it's very durable and sturdy. Um, I decided to cut out panels and from these panels I was going to create those arches on the wall. I went with this teal green color by Bear Paints and I just painted. I had cut about three panels and I painted all of those panels. So basically right now, I just want to show you before the arches, I had decided to use and attach the panels as is in a rectangle, I mean in a horizontal, sorry, in a vertical pattern. And then afterwards I decided, nope, I am going to make it into arch walls. Over the headboard, I created like a half semicircle arch over which I added these bohemian baskets.
and here I'm cutting out panels for the sides where I was going to place my nightstands behind that I wanted to add some arch walls like mini arches So this is the double sided tape that I used on the back side of the RAM board. It's a clear um, tape and it adheres to the wall pretty firmly, doesn't damage the wall, pretty rental friendly as well. And that's it. I just attached my arch walls onto the wall. Now let's move on to the nightstands. These nightstands were thrifted and I purchased both of these for about $40 which was a pretty good deal as the condition was amazing. There, were, there weren't many scratches or any defects. So I decided to paint it in this light coral almost pastel shade because I knew this would be a really good contrast with the teal background. So basically I just went all over the nightstands painted it completely it needed about two coats to fully cover the wood what i didn't paint was the top of the nightstand and as you can notice they also had this pull out desk situation that i also didn't paint because even though i was gonna coat these with like polyacrylic sealant i just didn't want to paint it because i want to keep the wood as is As for the drawer pulls, I painted the drawer pulls in the same teal dark green color that I painted the walls. Lastly, it was time to seal the table. After it was completely dry, I used a glossy finish and gave it about two coats. After that, it was just a matter of reattaching the poles and that was it for the nightstands a pretty easy quick job and it looked pretty good in the room as well with the teal background so the next is where i decided to paint a few like wall decor items this was a mirror that i found in ikea it was only for five dollars and it had this fun design this fun circular pattern which i thought would look really good on the arch walls i just decided to paint it in this terracotta brown color and i painted two of these so i could hang one on each side of the bed So for the other side of the bedroom, I decided to paint another panel with the same color. But this time I didn't cut it into an arch, but I glued on this semicircular piece in the same terracotta paint color. And on top of it, I hanged this oval mirror. And, and then after that, I decided to paint almost one fourth of the mirror in the teal green color as well.
these were the projects that I did in this bedroom. Obviously, I added a curtain and some rug and a bench that I already had. And here is how it looks. <laughs> If you guys like this project be sure to subscribe and like and share and if you want to see the detailed materials and supplies that I use in this project um, just click the description and you will see the link to all the posts the projects and DIYs but other than that see you guys next week with a brand new project